everybody, Rich here from HFX Gaming Memories, and we're back for another episode of Cocktails and Game Pairing. Today I'm excited because we actually got a request for a cocktail game. My buddy Chris Goody wanted something to go with one of his favorite Nintendo games ever, RBI Baseball. So, there's a few baseball-themed drinks you could always go with, the Cooperstown, the Grand Slam, but I wanted something a little different. So I went over to a website called Bourbon Banter, and I found something called the Bourbon Baseball Sour, and that's what we're going to look at how to make today. First thing, you're going to use a martini glass. Next, we're going to take our shaker. Now, we're actually going to start with dry ingredients. We're not going to actually use any ice. The first thing we're going to do, half ounce of Aperol. Next, we're going to go with three quarters of honey syrup. You can make that at home or you can buy it yourself. The next two ingredients, three quarters of freshly squeezed lime juice. Sorry, lemon juice. I always get those two mixed up. Ever since I was a kid, I don't get it. Next one is we're going to go with one full egg white. And then one to two ounces of bourbon, which is pretty much all I have left. So clearly we've got to make another liquor store run. There we go. And we're going to shake that up. The reason that we're using the dry ingredients is just because we want to make sure that that egg froth really gets foamy. So you can see that it's overspilling. Looks pretty foamy to me there. Next, we're going to throw in some ice just to make sure that we get the drink nice and cold. Back into our shaker. Shake that up till it's nice and cold on your hands. And then we're going to strain that into our martini glass or whatever you're using. to see that foam starts to build up on the top you can always open this up if you want to get that little bit of foam in there I like a nice thick foam kind of like a beer on my drinks and that's actually going to be the color for our baseball now the next step takes a little bit of skill something that I am still working on and we're gonna actually use bitters to try to make a baseball stitch design I find it's a little bit easier to just pour your bitters into a glass use an eyedropper or if you already have an eyedropper bitters that makes it even better and what we're gonna do is just put a couple of drops on the edges now, if you're a professional bartender this will actually look better but if you're me that's as good as you're gonna get you can also just take your dropper also and trace out some lines if you'd like them to be a little thicker. Um, I actually thought about cutting out some plastic and going ahead and making a stencil and then putting it on top and spraying with bitters, but this is something I still have to work with. And there we have the baseball bourbon sour. Enjoy. Okay, Rob's got his baseball bat. I've got my drink. We're ready to talk some baseball. In fact, RBI baseball. But it wasn't actually known as RBI baseball when it was first released. It came up for the Famicom in 1986, and it was part of something called the Family Stadium Events Games, and it was just titled Pro Baseball. When it was localized in North America, it was released under the title of RBI Baseball by Namco. Atari also had an arcade versus version of it itself. I've never seen this, and I've never actually had the luxury of playing any of the Nintendo versus cabinets, but maybe I'll get lucky and come across one of them in a pubcade someday. What makes RBI Baseball really interesting is that it's actually licensed by the Major League Baseball Players Association but not Major League Baseball. So what that means is all the players are actual real players. In fact, they're made up of the teams, like Toronto and New York, who were the top teams in the 1986 and 1987 series. However, they're not allowed to be the Yankees and Blue Jays, but the player names are actual players from that era. I know, kind of weird. But anyway, as a kid, I didn't know that, didn't care, was just happy to play a baseball game. Now, RBI Baseball was released in both an official licensed gray cart, and then there's the more common Tengen cart, which you see here, the black one. I think this is the one everybody played as a kid. We talked about RBI Baseball earlier when we reviewed The Cool Baby, and I'm going to pretty much repeat a lot of the stuff I said. big thing about RBI Baseball is the sound effects and music. I absolutely love them. From the opening credits, the pop flies, to the home runs, even just the infield music is really catchy and it makes the game go by fairly quick. It's a standard baseball game, and something I didn't know until I started researching this video is that different players have different stats. I was aware of this from the pitcher's perspective. When you start out with a pitcher, you're going to pick the best pitcher. But as the game goes on, they fatigue, and you need to swap them out. 
if you swap out a player and then you go on to actually play another game, I don't know anybody who's ever played back-to-back -back RBI baseball games, but if you have, put it in the comments. You can't use that player in the next game, so it's very realistic in that setting. Some players are actually faster than others, some hit better. Apparently though, this only applies to infield game, which I'm glad I knew because one thing about RBI baseball, the outfield, it's very stiff controls. I can honestly say that's probably the most frustrating thing of this game is how slowly the characters run. And while the gameplay is pretty tight, throwing it to second base seems to always be a nightmare. It seems to be hit or miss if it's gonna go to home plate, second or third. Scott, this one's for you because I know you still struggle with this almost 30 years later. Overall, for an early baseball game, RBI Baseball is a blast. We played so much of it as kids, teenagers, and adults. In fact, I remember us using some of the sound effects on things like ICQ when your friend came on. It was an RBI Baseball sound effect. So, just a quick talk about RBI Baseball. Sit down, make yourself a baseball bourbon sour, pop it in, grab your buddy, have a few games with some non-generic teams like Toronto whatever's versus the New York somethings, and enjoy yourself. So far, I hope you're really enjoying these cocktail videos as much as I am making them. I'm really enjoying the drink aspect, doing a little bit of research on the games, but I really want to hear from you. I love the fact that somebody else actually said, hey, can you mention this game and make a drink around it? That was the most exciting part of this. So please, subscribe, like, put something in the comments, and contact us at hfxgamingmemories at gmail.com. Get us on Twitter at HFX Gaming Memory, and we're actually now on TikTok where I take just the drink portion of the video. We're under cocktails and game pairing, so follow along. Until next time, drink and game responsibly. We'll see you soon.